breakfast group that began with a New Year's resolution has grown into a nonprofit organization. Coyote News' Josh Kapler says they have now they now have thousands of Facebook followers. Lost and Found continues to gain more members each day, but with Facebook recently backing the group, the organization only expects to get bigger. In the last month, uh, Facebook sponsored ads for us. We randomly got an email um, after a lot of effort to ask, ask Facebook if they'd be willing to do something. They have a program in which you can email them, apply for uh, free advertising from them as a nonprofit, and they accepted our proposal. Lost and Found aids survivors and victims of suicide while raising awareness for prevention. On campus, we are the only student-run organization focused on suicide prevention, and we really hope that over time this becomes something that people really get into. And we really wish to spread this to um, not, just, not just on our campus, but to other campuses as well, and we hope that this really takes off in the future. The organization focuses on making a difference by confronting the issue head-on. Well, I know suicide is very prevalent. I believe that it is an issue that needs to be focused on and not just shoved under the table. Suicide isn't an issue that people like to talk about very often, but once they come to our meetings they'll see that though the subject of suicide is not exactly something that is a happy subject, we're, our passion for it makes the meetings very fun, very energetic. Reporting for Coyote News, I'm Josh Kapler. Lost and Found meetings take place every Tuesday night in Old Main in room 118.